what I've got, and I'm looking for a good one, is I've just got a, a hard-boiled egg, okay? Now, that hard-boiled egg, I want to get inside the flask. The problem is, if I try to push it, it's not going to fit through that easily, and I'll break it. Because if I try to push one way or the other way, I can't put even pressure on it. So there's got to be some way to get that egg inside the flask without breaking the egg. Using liquid nitrogen. Anybody got any ideas? Okay, if I put the nitrogen, if you mean pour the nitrogen in the flask and then put the egg on top, yes. actually, pulse pressure would build up on the inside and it would pop out. So that was a good idea, but that's not it. Anybody else got an idea? Pour it on top of it. Pour it on top of it. Yeah. That will shrink the egg? I don't know. Well, it's going to make the egg rock solid, and then if I try to push it, it's going to break the flask. So that's not going to work either. Good try, but that's not it either. Sarah says, put the flask inside of here like this. Why would that work? I'm going to put the flask in the liquid nitrogen, and I'm going to allow it to cool down. Now I'm going to be real careful in terms of how I do this because I also want to get the egg back out again. All right? So first we're going to put it in there. And as we cool it down, the gas particles are slowing down. They're moving slower, slower, slower. Collisions are less frequent. And the egg is pushed in by the even atmospheric pressure acting all the way around. See, it's going in, it's going in, it's going in, it's going in. I kind of pull it out here at this point. Mr. Hansen, this is a good trick for you to learn. This is going to help you a lot. It is working really good. The egg's still going in, the egg's still going in, and there it's in, okay? Don't let it hit the bottom. That's what I've done in the past, because if you do, then it's going to stick and freeze. All right, so it's in the flask. There, it's in the flask. Okay, you see it wobbling around a little bit? Now, I'm going to tip it back up like this. And now, if I can get that egg sealed, I can start to warm the flask back up again. And as I warm the flask back up again, it creates the particles uh, warming up, moving faster, creating more pressure inside. The egg begins to come back out. See that? Now, does anybody who wants to help me with this? Who would like to help? Lucas, you want to help me? Help? Come on, come on. This is not great. Lucas, I need you to act like a chicken. I want you to grab onto this thing. I want you to warm it up with your hands. I want you to start squawking. Yeah, you got to put it on your side. Lay it in. Get the squawking. Yeah. Have your rooster. Rooster. Got a little new! Got a little new! Keep going, keep going. Keep going. Got to keep working on it. You gotta grunt a little bit. Oh, ah, 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 ah. How's it going? <laughs> Do it. Warm it up. Warm it up. Rub it, rub it. Come on. Come on. No! There we go. We got it. Boy, that was hard. Thank you, Lucas. No problem. Okay. Just lay it in. Now think about this, the chicken lays the egg. It's got a shell on it, of course. They're not done yet. They still got to sit on that egg. Otherwise, the chicken will never come to birth, will it? So it's a big job to be a chicken. Next thing is going to be grapes and also this thing here. First, I'll set this up. I have um, a balloon. There it is. That's just to make sure that the balloon doesn't have any holes in it. Because I got these at Walmart, so they do crappy ones. 